In this video, we're going to solve for the inverse matrix. So the inverse matrix is donated by the following. A matrix multiplied by its inverse equals an identity matrix. An identity matrix is a matrix in which you have ones along the principal diagonal and zeros everywhere else in the matrix. So matrix A multiplied by its inverse will equal an identity matrix, or the inverse matrix multiplied by matrix A will also equal the identity matrix. An inverse matrix can only be found for a square matrix. Square matrix, same number of rows as number of columns, and a non-singular matrix, which means that the determinant of the matrix is not zero. So the formula for an inverse matrix A is as follows. So there's two parts of this formula, one over the determinant of A multiplied by the adjoint matrix of A. And just in shorthand notation, the formula. Remember that 1 over the determinant, or the determinant in general, is just a scalar number. So 1 over the determinant is just going to be a scalar or a single number. So here's our matrix, 2 by 2 matrix. We want to find the inverse of it. So step, well, here's the formula. So step 1, let's solve for the determinant of A. So the determinant of A is going to be 7 times 12 minus 9 times 6, or 30. And then 1 over the determinant is just 1 over 30. So we got half the formula done. All right, we're going to start working on the second part. So what we want to do now is solve for the minor. And I represents the row number, and J represents the column number. So how do we find the minor? To find the minor of an element, so for example, we want to find the minor of the element here of number 7, we're going to cross out the row and column of that element, and the remaining number or numbers is the minor. So for the minor of 7, we're going to cross out that column and row, and you're left with 12. So the minor here for row 1, column 1 is 12. The minor for row 1, column 2, same idea, cross out the row that that element belongs to and cross out the column that that element belongs to. So we're going to be left with 6. So the, element, uh, so the minor here for row 1, column 2 is 6. And the minor for row 2, column 1 is 9. So here's row 2, column 1. We cross out the row and column and you're left with 9. And likewise, the minor for row 2, column 2. So the minor here for row 2, column 2. We cross out the column, cross out the row, and you're left with 7. OK, let's move on. The next step is to solve for the cofactor. So here's a formula for the cofactor. A cofactor is a minor with a possible sign change. So you notice we got the minor here that we just solved. And it's going to be multiplied by minus 1 raised to the row and column to which that element belongs. So if i plus j is even, there is no sign change because minus 1 raised to an even number is just equal to 1. If i plus j, the row plus column that the minor belongs to, is odd, there will be a sign change, and the cofactor will have the opposite sign of the minor. So rewriting our minors that we found, and now applying that formula, so for row 1, column 1, minus 1 raised to the power of 2 is just going to be 1. So we don't get a sign change here. So the cofactor here for row 1, column 1 is 12. Now for the cofactor for row 1, column 2, we will get a sign change because 1 plus 2 here is an odd number. So we'll have, with, have minus 1 times 6. So we just get minus 6 for the cofactor. And then uh, another sign change here for row 2, column 1. And then row 2, column 2, nothing changes because the number of rows plus the number of columns is an even number. OK, moving on. So now we're going to solve for the cofactor matrix. So each element of the matrix is replaced by its cofactor. 
So we already found these results from the last slide. So now we're just going to plug these numbers here into our cofactor matrix. So doing that, we get the following. The next step is to solve for the adjoint matrix, which is simply the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So we're going to transpose this matrix here. Rows become columns, columns become rows. So the, tra uh, so the transpose or the adjunct matrix here will look like this. Moving on. And now we can put our everything together here. We got 1 over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint matrix. So we'll do a little scalar multiplication here. 12 multiplied by 1 over 30, minus 9 multiplied by 1 over 30, and so on. We can check our answer. If we take the matrix A and multiply it by its inverse matrix, we should get the identity matrix. So doing the multiplication here, we do indeed get the identity matrix. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.